In Armour 3, some game modes and some uh, mods have a built-in menu in which you can set the viewing distance, which will override Armour 3's display settings. Uh, when you're sniping in Armour 3, you want to set your viewing distance to about 300, uh, sorry, 500 meters further than the target that you want to hit. I've positioned myself in uh, enemy territory on the hills where enemy snipers tend to hang out. I'm listening out for the shots and then trying to come up behind the snipers that I can hear. They're all going to be shooting towards the area of operations, so I'm going to try and come up behind that direction from where I can hear them. Now, I heard a guy firing from this rock somewhere, and uh, yeah, there he is on the rock just in front of me there. I've removed my long-range scope to get the short-range kill. I'm not sure why it took three hits. I think the first one missed and the second one did actually get him, but there was a bit of a delay there. Um, but yeah, looks like he's got a pretty good spot, so I thought I'd just have a quick look before I move. And indeed, there's a very nice view of the central tower from this position. So I thought I'd try and take a couple of shots before I move. Red team storming it as usual. Almost certainly all red team in the tower there. I'm playing as blue team at the moment. Just spotted this guy. That shot went a bit low, so move the sight up a bit. And uh, that was uh, just over 1.7k, so not bad at all. But yeah, I've taken quite a few shots from this spot now, so it's time to move. I've gone uh, back up onto the hill, further away from the area of operations from where I was, listening out for more enemy sniper shots. And uh, yeah, also uh, watching out for people that have started to come and look for me now. This guy does appear to be looking for someone, don't know if he's looking for me or not, but um, I don't think he can see the area of operations from where he is up there. I think he's got to be looking for other snipers. But he hasn't noticed me, and he's not that far. Makes that quite an easy shot, luckily. But yeah, I did hear another shot from the hill behind me up here a second ago. That's an enemy sniper. So I've gone on top of the hill now, gone looking for this sniper that I heard. Though he hasn't fired for a few minutes now, so just laying down on top of the hill here to wait for him to take another shot so I can see where he is. And that scared the shit out of me because I was way closer than I was expecting it to be. But yeah, it looks like he had an M320, same as me, so let's go and get some ammo of him. Yeah, using the M320 at the moment. Um, the M3, uh, sorry, the M320 and the Lynx are the two best sniper rifles in Armour 3. The M320 seems to have slightly better uh, accuracy at ranges, especially over like sort of one and a half kilometers. But the Lynx has uh, better penetration if you're using the APS-D rounds, that is. So they're both good to use in different situations. But yeah, I'm back down to where I heard that first, uh, to where I shot that first guy, because I've heard some more shots coming from down here. So I've come back to have a look. But yeah, that was better. Got him with one shot that time. Alright, anyway, let's move. Quite a few shots been fired from this position. Here's and uh, now one of mine. Alright, this is what I spend most of my time doing when I'm sniping. Looking around with the laser designator trying to spot the enemy. And just happen to notice these uh, supreme piloting skills there. That's what uh, most pilots in King of the Hill like. There are some good ones, but most of them are like that. That's why I tend to avoid the helicopters. But yeah, uh, a few minutes of looking around with the laser designator, spotted this guy, um, just behind some sort of hard cover there. Put the uh, long range scope on, let's have a look. LRPS has no uh, red dot or short range options, so I just take it off for the short range uh, kills. Now I've deployed my bipod, but the bi bipod... Uh, yeah, some weird stuff can happen with the bipod sometimes, you want to watch out for that, but... Yeah, sometimes the bipod won't allow you to put your uh, crosshair where you want it, so you might have to like reposition yourself a little bit and before deploying the bipod again. I had to move back on the rock a little bit there. Okay, point right for the tip of the head, and that shot went too low, so point up a bit. Just a bit too low into the left, so upright. And got in nicely. Right, I've heard a few other shots. 
Um, so have another look around with the laser designator. There's enemy snipers around here somewhere. I've got to spot them before they spot me. Like I say, I position myself to come up behind them, which does help a bit with spotting them uh, before they can spot me. See, they're all looking the other way. Yeah, two guys over here. Same aim for the tip of the head. And aim for the tip of the head. Now I went a bit low. But in the end got him. It looked like he moved forward and then moved back. I think that was just lag. But yeah, there's quite a few shots fired from that one position in a short space of time, so it's definitely time to move the fuck away from there. As I'm uh, moving across the map, sort of this friendly. Afternoon. Nice day for it. Okay, it's definitely some snipers around here somewhere. That guy's uh, Strider pretty much gave him away there on the laser, with the laser designator. He's too close to his stride. I need to have hide it. You need to have hit it a bit better. Yeah, not a bad shot. Okay, I'm onto a different round now. I've now changed to the Lynx with APSD rounds. I'm on the green team now. Uh, red team dominating as usual. Red team are uh, taking over all the towers, which is preventing people from getting into the area of operations. Especially this uh, Tower 2 is the tower that's nearest to the side that my team approaches the area of operations from, so they're very much stopping the green team from being able to get in by controlling that tower and shooting from that tower. So I'm just trying to clear the tower out. Got two with one bullet there. The APSD rounds, that's pretty much the only, I think it is the only gun that will shoot through the uh, armour of the towers. And there's still a few in tower too. Yeah, you'll see on, on some shots I shoot low on purpose, uh, so I can see where the bullets are going. And when I know that the bullet will go through and kill them, um, it's worth doing because, like I say, it's much easier to see where your bullet is actually hitting if you're just going to shoot Sorry, the side of the tower like that. Like you. Later, nerd. And sometimes I'm also just taking shots at areas where I think they might be. See, so, yeah, I'm shooting through the armor on purpose, just as I got, just so I've got a better idea of where my bullets are going. And also, if they duck at the last minute like that, you can still get them. Okay, reposition myself uh, so I can use the bipod and now I can get shots on Tower 3. I uh, wouldn't quite let, let me look far right enough there, so I had to pull the bipod up, move and put it back down again. See there, I was actually aiming for the armour, but it went over it anyway. Not going to complain though. Got a bit lucky there, I think. Got to move it on foot. Oh, this is way too far out from my car. Roger. Pretty sure I've got most of them. It's definitely allowed the uh, green team to get into the area of operations more so than what they were able to before I started shooting that tower, I believe. Yeah, uh, having a look around now, the tower seems to be pretty clear, so I'm looking for other snipers. Notice this guy silhouetting on the top of the hill there. If he'd have been a bit lower down on the hill, um, he'd have been much more difficult to spot. But I probably still would have seen him with the laser designator, but it's this part where you then look for him with the scope that would have been much more difficult if he's not silhouetting on top of the hill. I could tell from the sound there I was actually shooting the wall in front of me, so again I've had to reposition the bipod a little bit. And 
And there we have a nice headshot at just under 1.8 kilometers. Not too bad at all. Alright, thanks for watching. Hopefully see you next time. Take it easy.